Hello, everyone. Dana at Elicity back here again to announce our latest Elicity Cognitive Trust release 14.2. We worked really hard on this release, optimizing the deployment methods, adding a new integration, and implementing some great customer feedback. So today, we're going to go over the following. The new Elicity Virtual Edge, ServiceNow CMDB integration, and the Policy Matrix Rapid Edits feature. Let's get started. Let's do a quick review on the Elicity architecture. Our control, management, and policy plane is cloud delivered. This means that the user interface, the identity engine, and policy engine all live in a microservices designed customer dedicated cloud instance. On-prem, we employ a lightweight piece of software that collects identity metadata, traffic flow analytics, among many other things, and also converts Elicity policy to policy that your existing infrastructure can execute on. Prior to 14.2, we had two flavors of this software, one called MicroEdge, which was hosted by access switching infrastructure that supports application hosting, and Virtual Edge, which was hosted by a hypervisor. Now, you can mix and match these two methods of deployment without a problem, and it was quite simple and quick to deploy either solution. However, we are relentless here at Elicity when it comes to time to value. We want our customers to focus on building and executing identity-based micro-segmentation policy rather than spending half a year on getting a solution up and running before the first policy can even be pushed and then struggling to keep it running right. So what did we do? We unified the code. We built a new Docker-based implementation that allows you to deploy our software within your environment however you want. It's a universal container. The same code can now be deployed on a switch, a hypervisor, or any other hosting infrastructure you have that supports Docker containers, which is pretty much anything these days. The code, the configuration is all the same now. The deployment method is basically identical. The software is managed completely from Cloud Control Center. We no longer call it Micro Edge and Virtual Edge. It's just called Virtual Edge, no matter where or how it's deployed. If you read the deployment guide, you will also notice that we made it even simpler to provision. Just a couple of fields of information and you are off to the races. Next up, ServiceNow CMDB integration. We have a handful of customers who use ServiceNow as their source of truth for corporate assets that are permitted to be on the network. Cloud Control Center is incredibly agile, so we built a new API-based connector that enables integration with ServiceNow. We can import all of the assets and their attributes already defined in ServiceNow into the Cloud Control Center asset database. You can then leverage these attributes as policy match criteria to get really granular in your policy definition. For example, I may want to match on all Lenovo T500 notebooks under ownership of a specific business unit and apply a particular policy to them. Or you could keep it as simple as building a policy that checks to see if particular devices were learned by the ServiceNow integration and in the asset database before allowing them on the network. Pretty incredible. Lastly, we have a new feature for the policy matrix called Rapid Edit. Rapid editing allows you to apply policy across multiple policy groups at the same time. So instead of having to select each policy group individually and create a policy entry for them, you can highlight multiple policy group cells on the policy graph and apply a common policy to them all at once. For example, let's say you are in the medical industry and you want to block specific traffic from many different assets on the network, such as IP cameras, desktops, phones, badge readers, etc., to the imaging devices. It would be as simple as multi-selecting all of the cells on the policy graph related to the source policy groups of IP cameras, desktops and phones and badge readers that intersect with the imaging policy group cell. Add the new policy entry and hit submit. You're done. Another good example I came across while talking to a process control network expert the other day was around limiting traffic from SCADA servers to PLCs. Operational technology security engineers are trying to lock down enabled but unused services on PLCs such as web services, SSH, and many others. They only need the SCADA servers to talk to the PLCs via Profinet or Modbus, for example. So their first approach was to just go to all these PLCs and modify their configuration to disable these services. 
However, as you can imagine, that's a ton of work. You would have to hit all the PLCs individually. There's a potential to cause disruption to the process control network, and it's very time consuming and potentially risky. With Elicity Rapid Policy Edit, you could just multi-select all of the PLC policy groups and SCADA server policy groups and create a single policy to allow Profinet and Modbus, but block everything else and apply it all at once with a single click. The policy would be applied in seconds and you could reverse it or edit it just as quickly. And that's it for this update. Stay tuned for the next release as it's going to be another big one as we continue to improve, innovate, and implement customer feedback very quickly. Thank you. See you in the next one.